Hello everybody, Crips here. Um, so pan and zoom. So there's a few requests regarding the uh, pan and zoom. Um, so it's very simple actually. Now uh, before I get into the tutorial, um, for those who are sending me emails and asking me uh, for uh, requests one for one thing or another, uh, it's not that I'm ignoring your request, it's that I'm getting so many now that I've basically decided that if uh, a certain request is asked more than five times then I will consider making it a uh, tutorial and if it's just asked once uh, because I am getting quite a few on a daily basis now uh, I'm gonna go for the one that has been asked the most so as of today um, this one's been asked quite a lot so I thought yeah not a problem I will punch out a tutorial Alright, so pan and zoom, very easy actually. So I've got a little clip here, it's a little bodybuilding clip. And it's got, you know, I'm just going to move the slider, and obviously the, uh, we're miles away from everywhere, so very hard to see the detail on the uh, bodybuilders. Alright, so let's, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, concentrate on the big tall guy in the middle. So we want to really just focus on him. Uh, he's your friend and you went to the show and you want to put a little clip together for him, right? Alright, not a problem. So go to your FX filters, video, pan and zoom, drop it on your timeline, double click, customs filter. Alright, so you got your preview window here and this is your working window. You got two crosses, uh, white and red. Your red uh, indicates that keyframe. If I now move it over here, you will see this is the last keyframe because the cross is now red. So let's go back to the beginning. Now there's two ways you can adjust it. You can use the slider here at the bottom or you can use the notes and I prefer to use the notes. So I'm just going to move this on to the gentleman. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Now if uh, your camera is five or six pixels, megapixels, be careful because as you zoom in, you're going to lose your resolution, so they're not going to be as sharp. But lucky enough, this one is a 12 megapixel camera, uh, so we can uh, zoom in quite a bit. So let's move this on the timeline, and I just want to focus on this guy. Now you'll see as I move it, it go from this cross to this cross, another cross appears, because that indicates the timeline that it's traveling. So let's keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. So now I I just want to zoom back out for absolutely no reason. I just want to zoom back out. I'm going to add in a keyframe, and I'm going to go back to 100%, like so. Grab my red cursor. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to be traveling along. It's all on the big guy, and then it's slowly going to zoom out, and then it's going to slowly zoom back in onto the big guy. So as you can see, this is your red cursor running along the timeline. Everything looks fine. I press OK. Let's go and have a look now. So as you can see, it looks like um, whoever took this video clip manually did it while he was there. But that is not the case. We've just manipulated the footage by doing it uh, with the video pan and zoom filter. So there you go, my friends. I hope you uh, again learned something. And as always, thanks for watching.